Hello guys and welcome back to another prediction. This time, because the release is already very close, I will talk about Sony's life. As always, let's start this prediction off with a point which works in favor for a good box office performance of the movie. First of all, I want to name the cast. Leading the cast are Rebecca Ferguson, Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal. While Rebecca Ferguson has nothing to do with the box office performance of the movie, Ryan Reynolds and Jake Gyllenhaal are on their career peaks right now and both of them will help the movie for 100% to gross more money. The next point I want to name is the marketing towards the movie's release. I don't know about the states or other big cinema markets, but here in Germany the marketing for life was unusually big. Trailers for life were shown before nearly every movie I saw in the cinema in the last six months and also on TV channels, life had a strong marketing campaign. A lot of people are aware that the movie is coming out and they are also aware which actors are featured in it. This is of course a big pro point for life, but the marketing is also the very first negative point that I want to name. Overall, I think life has a very big problem when it comes to the budget. I searched through a lot of sources, but I found not one good source for the production budget or marketing budget for the movie. Because of that, I have to give you guys some estimates from myself, so I can explain you why I think life's biggest problem is the budget. The movie looks good, actually better than I thought before the first material got released. It's a sci-fi movie, and sci-fi movies are never cheap. On top of that, Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds might also not be the most cheapest actors on the market right now. Putting all of that together and you have an expensive movie. In my opinion, the two best movies which you can take as a comparison when it comes to the production budget are Passengers from last year and Prometheus from 2012. Both movies were produced on a budget of 110 million for Passengers and 130 million for Prometheus. While Prometheus was really a huge sci-fi, it didn't have the high payments for actors like Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence. Sure, Idris Elba, Michael Fassbender and Charlize Theron are also far away from being low-priced actors, but Chris Pratt and Jennifer Lawrence are way over them when it comes to the salary. Jake Gyllenhaal and Ryan Reynolds are probably on the same level with Idris Elba, Charlize Theron and Fassbender when it comes to the payment. And since the movie looks a bit more expensive than Passengers, I put the production budget for life at 115 million dollars. Because I can't say much about the marketing campaign of life in markets outside of Germany, I have to make a guess on my experiences here. Therefore, I would put the marketing budget for life around the marketing budget of Passengers. So add another 50 million to it and life sits on overall costs of 165 million, putting the break-even point at exactly 330 million dollars. For a dark sci-fi thriller which is not called Alien or Blade Runner, this is one hell of a lot money. Right now, industry experts expect life to open with just 14 million. I don't think that I have to say how bad this would be for the movie. The next thing I want to name is the competition life has to face. Dark sci-fi movies have always a hard time at the box office, but it is very unfortunately for life that just one week after its release Ghost in the Shell will hit cinemas and at the moment all signs are pointing towards an opening for Ghost in the Shell which will be at least 2.5 times as high as life's opening and it fits perfectly in the same genre. Even I predicted a few months ago that Ghost in the Shell could open to over 40 million dollars. On top of that life would settle for second place on its opening weekend for 100% giving the fact that the new Power Rangers movie also premieres on this weekend. All of this is definitely not working in favor for the movie's box office performance. Alright guys, I will now fade in all aspects that I just counted for a good or bad box office performance of the movie and we will now start with the pessimistic prediction on life. When life comes in under expectations and Power Rangers as well as Ghost in the Shell overperforms, I can see life to be a big lose for Skydance and Columbia. In this scenario, life will open to 13 million dollars and after a multiplier of 3.5 will finish its performance with a domestic total of 45.5 million. In overseas markets, science will look a little bit better for life with an overseas total of 155 million. Combined this will put life on a worldwide total of 200.5 million. At the end of the day, this amount of money earned would be a disaster for Skydance and Columbia and hopefully this scenario will not take place. 
In the realistic prediction, things will look a little bit better for life, but still, the movie will not be able to break even with its overall costs. In this scenario, life will open with 20 million dollars and after a multiplier of 3.6, will finish its domestic performance with, with a total of 72 million dollars. On the overseas side, life will collect a total of 210 million. Combined, this will put the movie at 282 million worldwide. When we now move on to the optimistic scenario, life can finally break even and earn a little bit of profit for the companies involved. In this scenario, life will open with 31 million dollars in the domestic market and after a multiplier of 3.3 will finish its performance with a domestic total of 102.3 million. On the overseas side, life will collect a total of 250 million for a combined worldwide total of 352.3 million dollars. The next video will be a prediction about Despicable Me 3. Thank you so much for watching this video guys, it really means a lot to me. When you like this video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button, since it would really help out this channel big time. Also leave a comment when you want to discuss this topic with me more in detail, and be sure to check out Game of Box Office on Twitter and Facebook. See you soon guys, more videos to come. Bye-bye.